Hello and everyone, welcome to a brand new reading. I'm Harisha and today we are doing timeless messages for you. All the fated messages which were supposed to find you. These messages can be resonating with your situation. We are going to find out which situation you are getting a help from, which ways you can you know make things work for you what is the thing you should focus on and by when these things will get better but before we start please make sure to subscribe my channel as it is a great way of supporting my journey here on youtube also these messages are timeless so whenever you find these uh, whenever you find this video these messages will resonate with you not all of them might work for you but it can be all about light and shade in your situation. So take what resonates and leave the rest. Let's find out which crystals uh, piles we have. We have the first pile of amethyst. Second is clear quartz cluster. And third is the raw rose quartz. Choose from your intuition, choose from your own guidance. Don't think of any other parameters while choosing the pile. Once you're done choosing, you can click on the timestamps from the description box below. And without a further ado, let's get started. Hello and everyone, welcome to your reading. Everybody who picked pile number one, this beautiful amethyst cluster. It has magical energies. As you can see, it is a deep violet color, all just breaking down from a rock itself. Look at this. This crystal is available in my crystal shop. So all of you who's wanting this, Please make sure to check out the description box. You can get in touch with me. I give out free crystal consultation. Okay, so amethyst is, if you liked amethyst, probably you are more of intuitively connected person. You like observing things. You like understanding things on a deeper level. And definitely you see life in a way more different perspective than other people. Why? Because everybody who is connected to Amethyst, who are in tune with the crystal of Amethyst, are very much connected to their third eye chakra and their crown chakra, which makes it very um, important for people to just take ahead whatever is in their guidance, in their intuition, in their dreams, in their own thought processes that is what is more important so let's start with your reading let's find out what messages do we have for you <clears throat> sorry first let's find out which situation are you getting this these messages for because there can be multiple things maybe your relationship maybe your career maybe your health issues family issues issues with friends issues with your own self, your mental health, your finances, so many things. So let's find out what situation you're getting your guidance in. Okay, we have the hanged man and we have the chariot. Okay, I'm seeing that this can be something about life path because both these cards are major cards. Both of these cards are major energies which dictate the journey of life which are very key roles in life so those things can be important i'm sensing that you are quite confused regarding what to do in life which way to go which way to choose maybe this is regarding um your career because you're constantly torn between your head and your heart and because of that you're not able to take any sorts of decisions as of now um, the hanged man is a card of just taking a step back and observing things. Probably you don't want to take a decision right now. You are running away from your decision because you don't know which way to go. Should you listen to your heart? Should you listen to your mind? 
should you be logically correct or should you be morally correct it's all going on your mind constantly which is why the universe is here to help you i'm saying that this can be some sort of a situation regarding what to do in life um it can be regarding your career choices whether you might be questioning them whether you should just run after the finances or you should do something which actually makes you happy which makes you content which gives you that peace even though you're very tired at the end of the day so this is what exactly i am sensing and second thing can be that you have a lot of things in life but still you don't feel that emotion of joy completely because you don't know why you have come in this lifetime you don't know why you're here you don't know what purpose are you supposed to serve so both of these can be in your situation with the chariot card i'm saying that you don't want to take a decision right now but somewhere back to back so many things are happening around you that you have to keep on taking decisions which you are completely not in line with you are not completely happy with those and that is what is creating this friction between your head and your heart so i am sensing that this confusion is needing some sort of a guidance <clears throat> sorry let's find out what does the universe want to tell you so this is a very general reading right take what resonates and leave the rest maybe both of the these situation cannot be true for you if that is the case please choose another group because this group might not be the one for you okay the guidance for your situation is knight of wands and we have the 10 of pentacles wow so the universe is already telling you you're on the right track i don't know why you're so worried about This is this is very beautiful. The Knight of Wands is again a card of passion. So probably you can choose something you're very passionate about, you're very um much interested in. Maybe there is something in the back of your mind which you don't know that uh will it work for you or not? Should you go for it or not? Should that career option work for you or not? But the universe is asking you to go ahead with it. no matter what so that is something i would definitely tell you and the other thing we have with the 10 of pentacles is that no matter what you do you are going to have amazing finances you are going to have a lot of um cash in flow plus this is also a card of family reunion family celebrations so maybe for the time being if you have to go against your family it is just for some bit of time after that your family will be celebrating with you so whatever your decisions you are wanting to make please go ahead and make it because this thing is in the cards for you whatever you want to go forward with whatever passion you want to pursue it is in the cards for you it is going to give you definite success and definite financial growth so please make sure that you go ahead with it um let's see when these changes are supposed to come in if you take action like when will you see positive results okay when will these changes start coming in for group number 1 the first card i have is the 9 of wands and the 8 of cups okay So both these cards are all about self doubts are all about confusions are all about just being worried whether it will work for you or not maybe you have a personality where you constantly doubt whatever is happening in your life where you are constantly questioning like why is this happening to me what will happen next what is going to take place next what is going to happen with me what results i'm going to get so all these questions if you have these questions very very often or you're questioning your life as well that you know is this life that's all what i'm supposed to do earn money 
give up for my lifestyle and then go ahead that's all but there are two things which i'd like to tell you one whatever stage you are in right now is definitely pushing you forward into the journey of finding your own self right whether it can be through spirituality whether it can be through reading some of the books whether it can be through finding a mentor who will guide you ahead like you come in touch with somebody like me and we can talk about it you can talk about your situation and then you know we can move forward but if that is the case then definitely a spiritual awakening is coming for you if that's not the case i'm seeing that around august and september you are definitely going to get some sort of a positive result whether it can be that finally you take that first step towards your goal finally you take step towards your um perfect future you start understanding yourself better your family starts understanding you all the people around you who you were fearing would not support you start showing support for you so all that is coming to you around august and september so be really really open to that okay <clears throat> sorry Let's clarify your reading with some oracle cards. I have the turn of time deck. It is a universal guidance deck made by me. So when you get this deck, you can ask any question to the deck and any card you pull will have a definite answer for you resonating in your situation. If you're interested, please make sure to check out the description box. You can email me or you can DM me on Instagram. Both the links are given in the description box. Okay, one guidance for you in this reading. Group number one. I have the card of monsoon. Isn't it perfect? Isn't it so perfect? You know why? Because the card of monsoon can talk about a timeline. that around the season of monsoon especially if you are in india it is a very different season we have mostly starting from june uh, sorry july to august september 2 3 months of time and that is clarifying your timeline that when i said august september the universe is also giving you guidance that yes it can be true yes it can be around that time only when your things will start happening and another meaning we can have is that whatever um emotional turmoils you have you just need to let go you need to cry it out you need to connect with water energy more because water energy you can see here all these droplets all these natural forms of water are going to help you in your situation so maybe you go by a lake or a pond or a river and all these things will give you so much peace will give you so much guidance will give you so such a strong intuition so if there is an availability of a natural water body around you please make sure to go there spend some time there and it will help you apart from that yes august september is your timeline whether you're seeing this video quite late then whatever the next whenever the next time august september comes that is your timeline So please make sure that that is that is into consideration. Next we have is this affirmations deck. We are going to find out what. <clears throat> sorry, I have a bad throat. What affirmation you should practice, or uh, what guidance do we have as in a thought process with these decks? This is a very beautiful deck. It's all about affirmations. It's all about meditating. it's all about connecting with these parts of our body which are unhealed so really beautiful deck i got it as a birthday gift by the way okay let's find out so one affirmation for group number 1 is okay giving is more important than winning the affirmation for you can be the more joy you are open to receiving the less you will need to have any boundaries at all so i'm sensing this is more in line with the chariot card we had in the starting 
because when i told you that you are constantly torn between your head and your heart it is showing you that everything you are doing is all about giving your own efforts it's all about giving the correct form of energy which resonates to your situation which resonates to your life the more joy you are open to receiving the less you need to have any boundaries everything you're wanting to do for yourself just go ahead and do it because the universe is telling you that you do not need to be afraid of receiving your own goals once you do that everything will work out for you without a doubt so please take this into consideration okay next we are going to find out is i don't have any space here oh my god yes the next we are going to find out is from the work your light oracle Let's see what guidance do we have there. This is, I think, yeah, this is the last oracle we are doing today. So one message for group number one is... We have share your voice. Come out of the cave, persecution and expression. I think you are one of those people who is very very afraid of you know going on your own path probably whatever you are doing in your life right now is not your goals is somebody else's thoughts it's somebody else's goals which you have adapted and that is creating a lot of friction inside of you a lot of um uneasiness is the vibe i'm getting but the universe is asking you to share your voice it is all connected to your throat chakra it's all connected to how you want to go ahead in life with that being said this card has already a natural water body it is affirming what i told you natural water bodies or water droplets or any image of water you see um around you or your, on your phone while scrolling through social media is all going to be a sign for you in your situation and also pyramids because i see the pyramids drawn here as you can see in this um image of the card also and yes constellation stars because all that is given here so that can be another situation but with that being said water body is one of the most important things for you let's just clarify this message with the guidance book oh no where is it yes share your voice you are being called to share your voice perhaps by speaking up in a relationship or a situation or through writing speaking singing or some other form of creative expression will unfold the truth deep within you that longs to be expressed sculpted for lifetimes the voice of your soul is like no other if you ignore its voice it will keep on creating a big wave of storm that builds inside of you the more you let it out the more you peace you will find it carries with it the wisdom that only can be gained through the soul history and growth by remembering tapping into and expressing this unique tone we not only heal ourselves but we also heal the planet energy at large when you share your voice you unlock something in the universe and a call and call a missing piece of you home your individual voice is the most powerful sound current on the planet if you have kept your soul's voice silenced or held back chanting or singing could truly be life changing for you there has been never a better time in history than right now to rise up and speak your truth and share your voice if you feel fearful know that you are not alone and that the world needs your unique tone in order to harmonize each time you rise up and share you make it easier for the next person to do the same so i think it's all about uh, energy it's all about taking ahead what needs to come out from you so desperately so deliberately and you need to go ahead with it without ignoring it so i think these messages truly belongs to some of you 
who are into this situation who feel like the society or the family are pressuring them way too much and they cannot speak up the universe is helping you so please go ahead and do it so yeah that's all what i have for you today in this reading i hope this reading resonated with you if it did please make sure to like this video comment down below and share your thoughts with me also if you have any other idea what kind of readings you want more you can type it down and i will surely take that into consideration please share my channel with your friends and family if the message is resonated with you because i'm looking forward to grow on youtube and without your support it's going to be a little bit difficult for me and yes if you need crystals or if you need crystal guidance from me you can dm me on instagram or email me for a personal reading also and last but not the least please make sure to check out my neophilia core community from the description box below for weekly horoscopes for free once you subscribe to the core community you will be entitled to 15% off discount on all my products and services that's an amazing deal by the way but yeah you can unsubscribe anytime it's it's for the time you will be subscribed to my list you can find discounts on my products and services on all my readings on healing services and everything so that's all what i have for you today i'll see you next time till then keep your light bye bye hello everyone who picked group number 2 this beautiful clear quartz cluster if you chose this cluster this beautiful cluster then this reading is for you everybody who would like to buy a crystal cluster charged by me you can dm me on instagram i have my own crystal shop i'm shipping worldwide all my crystals are ethically sourced so you can get in touch with me i'm also giving free crystal consultation you can talk to me whether which kind of crystals you can go for what will be beneficial for you in your situation and with that being said please check out the link in the description box but with uh this clear quartz i can definitely say that everybody who chose this beautiful white piece of brilliance i all i can sense is that you are one of those people very spiritually connected very much in line with what you like what you don't like very much uh, looking forward to this whole thing as a very beautiful experience of life and things are really really good for you you have issues in your life but with that you are also aware that whatever is happening with you in your life is all spiritually connected all happening because of the universe and things are very much sorted for you mentally but some situations need guidance that is why the universe has asked you to check this video out because you might have some important messages here uh, for your situation so before i start let's first find out which situation the universe is guiding you for Okay, which situation are you guiding the universe? First is the King of Swords and second is Ace of Cups. I'm sensing that this is something related to your mental health. I'm not quite sure. Uh initial messages tell me that you are very much of a perfectionist you need things to be done on time you have a proper plan for everything in life everything that just makes it easier for you to you know go through life in a very sorted and simple way but with that being said you sometimes feel very much emotionally distant to who you are as a soul who you are in your heart of hearts and that is something which bothers you time and again or it bothers your relationships with others because you don't understand the value of emotions when you are thinking about things quite logically and that is what is creating a lot of chaos somewhere intentionally or unintentionally so my guidance is that the universe is asking you to be emotionally connected with yourself it can be vice versa also that you are very much emotionally vulnerable and you forget your practical side a lot but this situation is 
opening you up to a whole new experience of learning about yourself knowing about yourself and most importantly moving towards in depth knowledge of yourself so let's find out what is the guidance the universe wanted was wanting to give you the guidance i have for you is queen of swords and 10 of swords okay everything you are going through in your life every uh sorry every type of reaction you are giving to people all those things are because of your past life experiences it's because of whatever has happened to you throughout this whole time of uh your life span but with that being said i'm sensing that queen of swords is again a great understanding of knowing that you've completely closed off your emotions from others and you're becoming very 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 practical you're just on to people you're not letting anybody a piece of you you're not letting anyone near to your emotional self because you've gone through experiences which are causing hurt only to you and not others so that is a very simple logic i'm seeing behind this whole situation but with that being said whatever has happened to you in your life whatever has made you this kind of a person the universe is telling you that it was all your karmic cycle which needed to be released maybe you have some sort of karmic balance with somebody and they came into your life they made you suffer and they went away but as a result of it you did not accept the changes you actually changed yourself because of whatever has happened with you the universe is telling you with the ten of swords that whatever has happened has ended has gone was in the past all you need to do is just grow and be more and more emotionally mature more and more developed emotionally because the more you are controlling your emotions the more you are hiding away your emotions is causing energetic blockage in your own energy so that is what is one of the biggest message i have for you if you don't connect with yourself emotionally or if it is difficult for you you need to learn that if you are not doing this transformation right now it's going to be a problem in all of your upcoming relationships whether it is with your spouse whether it is with your parents with your sibling with your children with your grandparents with your friends with your colleagues everything like this will keep on happening keep on happening you will keep on being so rationally correct and you will keep on hurting yourself because you're not allowing yourself to trust others you're not allowing yourself to be connected to others on a deeper level what is happening you are always at one arms distance from others and that's why you always feel left out you always feel like i'm alone or i have to live alone or i just don't want anyone around me because people are just there to hurt me itself but all these things are thought processes of somebody who is holding on to trauma and not releasing it so i think you should work towards your healing journey also that can be one of the reason the clear cords attracted you because clear cords is a master healer crystal master healer meaning it will help you heal your aura it will help you heal everything that is bothering you all right let's see when these transformational energies are coming in for you okay i have the five oh wow i have double fives very beautiful i'm sensing a lot of resistance a lot of fighting happening inside of you but this is a double confirmation two two number fives is a great sign for you in your situation if you keep seeing numbers like 5 5 5 5 5 5 5 5 5 this is a clear sign for you that the universe is asking you to trust it trust the universe and move towards a transformation which anyways i am seeing that it will happen around um october it will start around may somewhat and by the time of october you start feeling a lot 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 better 
so both these cards are just magically here so the first card is all about constantly fighting and keeping yourself up high not looking for what relationships these are bothering and whatever the other person is thinking for you whereas when you transform you become this hierophant you become this mentor who is always there to guide others who is always there to just make sure that nobody is taking ethically wrong decisions so your whole transformation journey is more like becoming a leader more like becoming a very grounded person more like a person who helps others that is what i'm seeing the most let's clarify with some oracle cards the first we have is the turn of time deck by me it is my very own oracle deck for readers as well as non readers for everyone basically if you have any question you can ask the deck you can shuffle the cards and pull out one card and that card will definitely give you messages for your situation After this reading if you like this deck please make sure to email me on uh, my email id it's given in the description box or dm me on instagram i will be more than happy to send you one Okay let's find out one card for group number 2 is i have plants This is a sign that you need to ground yourself probably you are very much disconnected from the earth's element to the water element to the fire element all you're connected to is the air element first step towards your growth is getting grounded getting um yourself rid of all the excess energies you have one guidance i can definitely give you what is wrong with my hair One guidance I can definitely give you is taking salt water baths is going to be very very beneficial for you. But with plants you can spend most of your time in greenery in nature. You can have indoor plants with you whether you're working you can have one on your desktop. You can uh you can have one on your house. You can have a lot of plants around you and those will help you heal naturally. So this is something you definitely need to do. Let's find out other message we have the affirmations deck. Let's see what message do I have for group 2. A lot of anxiety already built in. Okay. One message I have for you is Okay, I have You were made for awareness. Just a second and make some space for cards. Yes. You were made for awareness. I will spend 10 minutes observing instead of speaking. I will sit quietly by myself and sense how my body feels. This is so much in connection with you because you need to find out what you feel, how uh how much are you connected with your own emotions? what are those feelings why do you have those feelings this is not a shadow work which will happen on its own because it's already here for you this is so much in line with what i was talking about i'll spend 10 minutes observing instead of speaking can be all about yourself you observe yourself better whether what is happening inside of you what kind of thoughts are coming and going what kind of decisions you are taking and what is the ground for those decisions it is all going to help you in your situation and help you be more connected spiritually 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 sorry sometimes i lisp okay last but not the least we have the work your light oracle let's get one more guidance from angels and spirit guides for your situation if these messages did not resonate with you i am already telling you that this is not the correct pile for you so please pick another one of the piles and you find surely find a message for yourself there okay one message for group 2 is dance with life do something to change your energy look at this message this is such a pure message if you look at this card 
the the peachish pink color is definitely a sign for you also art art nouveau motifs some sort of a european architecture full moon desert photos sand dunes flowy garments air flow all these are symbols and signs for you to keep a check on all these are just uh, signs for your situation this is exactly i told you do something to change your energy because right now you are not on a correct way towards living life you are on more of a unhealthy pattern of life which is only going to hurt you at the end and nobody else so please make sure you start working on yourself sooner because eventually you are the one who is just going to um be crying at the end of it okay let's clarify with the guidebook we have I'm not finding the message here. Okay, got it. Okay. Do something to change your energy. Life is always moving. If you resist this ever changing flow, your energy will become stagnant and you will fall out of the flow with universe. The universe has a mysterious intelligent force, a natural rhythmic beat. which governs all of life one of the best ways to shift your energy frequency and vibration is to put on some music and dance along with it get unstuck by doing something that shifts your vibration put on some music dance unrestrained and fall into the frequency of life in doing so you move unwanted energy from your body and you will begin to learn how to be moved by your intuition which is connected with this systematic beat If dancing isn't your thing then simply do something that would not usually that you would not usually do to shift the energy you can solve your problem with the same mind that created it and you cannot attract a different experience without changing your energy first this is so true my my mentor always said that you will not get what you want if you keep on doing what you're doing right now so you need to come out of your comfort zone you need to take a risk with your emotional self who's going to hurt you nobody is going to hurt you it's on you how much chances you take all right last thing is last thing it's it's time to shift things up and find a way to dance along with the flow of life if you're not doing that you are resisting your life's transformation and it is creating a bigger blockage for you to attract your goals this is exactly what we have been talking about for so long because probably you are in one of those toxic thought cycles which is not letting you live the life completely so you in a way you're just wasting your time in this situation so please make sure you open up a little bit you go out often you talk to people often you talk to people about your situations often because it is going to help you in your situation but that's all what i have for you today i hope you love the reading i hope the reading resonated with you if it did please make sure to like this video subscribe to my channel and comment your thoughts down below um also comment if you want me to do any sort of a specific reading i will do it definitely because i do read out all the comments and apart from that please make sure to join me on instagram to buy any crystal to get a personal reading or just to connect with me because i share daily bit of knowledge there so it would be great to have you in my other community as well you can join my neophilia core community it is my email subscription list for everyone who is wanting to be a part of my core family where we do lots of discounts on all my products and services and of course free horoscopes every week but with that being said i hope you have a great week ahead i'll see you in the next one bye bye hello and everyone welcome to your reading everybody who picked this beautiful crystal of rose quartz it has a magnificent pink hue and it's a very natural one because there are so many layers of colors into this one there is in depth energy in this one this is my personal collection i use this every day i always have it around me and the energies of this crystal is just magical it's so 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 magical 
Okay, with that being said, if you've chosen the pink row, rose quartz crystal, if you like this crystal, you can connect with me on Instagram. You can buy it from my crystal shop. I would love to give it out to everybody who needs it. I charge the crystals myself. Whenever somebody orders, I charge it for the specific intentions, all included in the price of the crystal. Apart from that, if you've selected this crystal, this is a crystal of love. This is a crystal of self-love. This is a crystal of heart chakra. This is a crystal of knowing that everything you want, the harmony you want in your life is coming to you. So I'm seeing that you are very much of an emotional person. You're very much connected to your emotional, emotional health. Your emotional maturity is what I'm seeing. Uh, with this crystal, I'm sensing that you're one of those people who's probably manifesting something better in their love life also. So let's find out which situation the universe is wanting to give you messages in. Oh, oh my god, all the cards fell off. So the first one I have is the Queen of Wands. And the second one I have is the Star. This is a beautiful, beautiful reading. I'm sensing you are somebody who is a Leo or an Aries or a Sagittarius connected with a person who is either Aquarius I'm sensing is the main energy but can be Gemini or can be Libra but Aquarius is a possibility of 99% okay I'm sensing that this is definitely some sort of a love situation or a family situation where you want to establish your own respect you want to establish your own value as a person who is very very much giving who is a nurturer who is a caretaker who, who knows how to handle relationships who knows how to handle themselves who knows how to handle the other person who is involved in this situation so with that being said i, I definitely under this whole um vibe that with a star card you are hoping that things are going to work out for you and you are just trying to keep a balance you're just trying to you know be calm and be completely sound so that everything you're wanting here will work out for you in its own time probably with a star card i'm sensing that you probably are manifesting this whole relationship growth also which is a very beautiful sign because even if i'm not picking out other cards right now both these cards are a sign that everything you are wanting is going to work out in your favor okay let's find out which uh, what is the guidance the universe wants to give you? Okay, I have the card two of cups soulmate energy and I have the moon Okay, I'm sensing this is more of a twin flame situation with both of you are probably mirroring your own Energies onto each other the way you act the other the person is acting in the same way and both of you are triggered by each other very easily there are a lot of tips here there are a lot of arguments there are a lot of um misunderstanding on little little things that is what i'm seeing if that is the situation this reading is definitely for you if these messages are not being connecting to you then you can check out any other pile because this is a pile for somebody who is struggling in a situationship or a relationship which is very strong but somehow it's difficult in working out so that is what i'm seeing here but with the two of cups it is a soulmate card it is a card of finding a person under angelic protection so this relationship is definitely guided by the um angels around you also with the moon card here and the star card i think the time of night is more uh, difficult for you because you're not able to concentrate on anything especially full moon and stars are very much a sign for you in this relationship also sun and sunflowers and angel wings scorpios all these things are a sign for you in your situationship but the universe is telling you that everything that every energy that you're mirroring is coming inside of you is coming from inside of you so start radiating positive energy start radiating love start radiating what you already think is you want because 
universe attracts what you are and not what you want so start being the person you would be if this relationship was perfect according to you and that is what is going to attract whatever you are uh, looking forward to okay let's find out a timeline when will things start favoring you and when is the final harmony going to come in between both of you okay i have the cards ace of pentacles and sun oh my god this is the most perfect reading in such 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 a long time i am so happy with this reading you can see it from my face how happy i am okay so this ace of pentacles is already a new beginning which is waiting on your doorstep maybe you are sort of ignoring that new beginning sort of just uh just a second battery running out oh yes sort of just worrying that whether this new opportunity is working for you or not whether things are going to work out for you or not but both these cards are telling you that it's definitely going to work out for you because the sun is a card for a complete positivity complete 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 positivity where anything you want is a yes it's like a god's blessing that yes it's coming for you as i said sunflowers are definitely going to be a sign for you in this uh, relationship and also color red also the color yellow also stars i already said it moon both of these things are going to be a very strong sign for you in this relationship if i want to give you a timeline i'm sensing that during this whole summer time it's april right now so april may june july all four months are going to be very much fast forward movement in your situation you're definitely going to get some sort of a positive result because the opportunity is already at your doorstep so all you need to do is just grab it okay let's clarify your reading with some oracle cards this is my own very deck turn of time deck if you are a regular watcher watcher you already know what is it about if you are new to my channel this is my own deck for universal guidance where anything um you have a doubt about you can ask to this deck and one card whichever card you pull out is going to be very beneficial for you okay so let's find out one message for you in this situation ship okay i have the card winters maybe right now the things are okay we have one more card falling out maybe the situations are very much difficult for you right now with whatever is going on you're very scared that what is going to happen next will this person go away forever or something like that but the universe is saying that everything is happening for you in its own divine timing when will your divine timing be it's either going to be summer if you are ready to grab this opportunity right now or it's going to be somewhere around winters with this card of winters or the beginning of winters also can be a sign um winters is definitely a card for somebody who is emotionally very cold to you so either you or your person one of you has stopped sharing your feelings with the other person and that is creating a lot of friction that is creating a lot of unwanted stagnation so please make sure that you help your person communicate with you or if it is you then you just move out of your shell and start talking to the person start expressing more because expressing your feelings is not going to take you uh, make you get hurt it's only your expectations that will make you hurt so just do it it's going to be very beneficial for you i'm going to clarify with an affirmation card let's see what guidance do we have from this so one card for group number 3 Okay, we have the card. I hold inside me a place of peace and silence that cannot be disturbed. You can transcend your outer disturbances and remain unaffected by them. I think this is all pertaining to this moon card we have here because the moon is the card of your shadow self. It's the card of 
working on your shadow self we have the both sun moon and star energy in your reading this is so beautiful this is already a divine connection what are you so scared about everything is going to work out for you the universe is helping you the angels are helping you we have so many signs in this relationship it is very very beautiful i'm telling you all you need to work on is your inner self your your own thought patterns what is hurting you what is triggering you once you let go of all those things you will become a little more trusting towards this person to this situation and that is what is going to lead you towards a long term commitment okay last but not the least work your light oracle for your situation so let's see one card guidance we have okay the guidance we have is trust the niggle what is the niggling feeling trying to tell you with this card here there is a connection to your solar plexus chakra and your heart chakra we already talked about it it is also about your intuition it's also about all the clouds you're having in your thoughts which is not letting you see clearly you need to remove all those clouds away it will help you in your situation let's see what the guidance book has to say about it Okay, we have the page number 52. Yes. That annoying niggling feeling, that inconvenient annoying niggling feeling. Try as much as to remove it, but it's going to be there. And it ain't going anywhere. Most people spend years ignoring their niggling feeling slash intuition. throwing their best dollops of stubbornness ego and post rationalization to numb them out it's going to be exhausting you accept this feeling to draw your attention to the light within you that is bursting to come out the niggle is an arrow pointing to this what is standing in your way the relationship the conversation the decision the shift that needs to be made the stone in your shoe often we feel niggling feeling in our body first Many people think that intuition is something from higher realms but in fact it is the body that is the intuitive one working through our senses to deliver vibrational information it takes just a moment every day to scan your body to receive intuitive intelligence and act on it quickly you're being called to listen to the niggle now if you don't face it the universe will throw something much bigger and more obvious in your path trust your niggling feeling and let go of everything that is stopping you in your situation it's going to be scary but you are always going to be safe because the universe is around you this is again another confirmation that universe is supporting you please don't be afraid to work this relationship out because i'm telling you it's going to work out for you so don't worry about it all right i love this reading it is so refreshing it is so positive and with that being said That's all what I have for you in this reading. If you like this crystal, you can DM me on Instagram. If you like my deck, you can also DM me on Instagram or drop an email. I also do personal readings. Again, the same procedure you can follow. If you need any crystal guidance, whether which kind of crystals to use, what is beneficial for you in your own situation, it's all. Um, sorry, you can DM me on Instagram to get a free crystal consultation. Apart from that please make sure to like this video comment down below and let me know your thoughts whether how much this reading resonated with you if you like this reading and you want me to cover any one other topic which you are interested in please type it down below i will definitely do that reading apart from that follow me on instagram and join my neophilia core community it is my members only arena where i do free horoscopes every week and of course Uh, give out fifteen percent discount permanently on all my products and services. But that's all what I have for you today. Please make sure to share my channel with your friends and family, because to grow on YouTube, I'm definitely going to need your help. I'll do whatever it takes to help you with guidance in tarot and your situation. But if you can, please share my channel. So that's all what I have for you today. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.